what is going on guys D1 here and today I'm gonna make a tutorial that's long overdue it's the exporting your game tutorial uh, now the reason why I want to do this even though I haven't finished all the other tutorials I want to make and I'm never gonna be finished teaching blender of course it's very complicated and there's a lot of things that you can do and when it comes to Python of course creativity has infinite potential uh, but the reason why I want to do exporting right now is for those of you guys who like to make these small demos maybe you've made a complete game who knows uh, which you want to export and you want to share now you don't you might not want to give out your blend file right you want it to be completely exported uh, as a standalone application now how you do that is this is what I'm going to show you I have a little grid editor demo here that I made for my computer science class and I want to export this as a standalone product now if I run this it has music and whatnot I'm just gonna show you how it works uh, let me just run it so you can see I can place I can place a uh, grid there I can uh, basically paint grass on it uh, on these grid points and it plays music and whatnot I wanna export this as a standalone game now before I export uh, there are some settings you have to be aware of uh, you can see here in the properties panel if you're set to game engine uh, which you should be if you're exporting a game obviously you look at you look over here to the properties uh, to this window over here uh, there's the properties panel now if you're in default I'm in game logic if you're in default it's over here uh, so just know that you need to to look at the properties panel whoops I messed it up there where's properties there we go and if you look at the rendering section you can see here there's embedded player this is like the in-game testing stuff and I have it to set to a very set to a very high resolution standalone player is once you export it once you export it uh, what is the resolution gonna be is it gonna be full screen is it gonna have anti-aliasing how, ma how many frames do you want right so these are settings you have to know about now I'm gonna set it to my desktop resolution uh, which I already have over here I've said this before uh, now yours would be different your your desktop resolution would be different from mine uh, if you set this too high it's gonna be way bigger than your screen and it's not gonna fit properly so you wanna look at you wanna go to I don't know like control panel uh, adjust screen resolution to see what your maximum resolution is uh, so this is my maximum screen resolution I want it to be f I don't want it to be full screen it's gonna be windowed and uh, basically what's gonna happen is when I export it it's gonna be set to this resolution if it was at the default 800 by 600 or whatever it was then it's gonna be much smaller it's gonna be tiny on my screen uh, so be mindful of that anti-aliasing anti you can have this it makes it look smoother and it removes these jagged edges uh, these pixelated looking edges uh, you can do this if you want but it's more processor intensive but let's get to the exporting uh, how how you export is you go to file and export now there should be a save game as runtime or executable down here but but there isn't uh, now I've been using blender for a long time and uh, in the previous 2.4 versions it was there in the 2.5 and 2.6 it's not there it's kind of hidden as an add-on so you go to user preferences you go to game engine and here it is right here game engine save as game engine runtime and you want to check this box here and now it should be there save as default if you want it to always be there and now when we go to export we have it right here so it's not on by default which is odd but that's how it is uh, one thing to note though your game has music maybe it might have textures so you want to make sure that you pack everything into blend file before you export what this does is it saves every all these files into your blend file uh, now there are other methods you can do this such as uh, well where was it external data there's pack and then there's uh, make all paths relative there are other methods if you want to use folders as opposed to saving everything in your blend files uh, but this is the simplest way so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna go with that the point of this is that you don't lose any information any important files so when you open the runtime everything is there there's no missing textures uh, now that we have that covered you want to make sure that you pack everything and then you want to go to export save game engine uh, runtime alright so create a new directory actually I'm gonna go out of this file 
I'm going to create a folder for it. I'm going to call it, uh, so there's grid based editor. I'm going to call it grid editor runtime. So that's going to be the folder that it's going to be in. You want to make a folder, obviously, to contain the files. And it's going to be called editor. That's fine. So save as a game engine runtime. And that's it. It's exported now. Now I should theoretically be able to go and open it. No problem. So we'll see how that turns out. So now I have my file, my game is exported. So I can cl close uh, Blender now. If I go to the folder where I exported my project, uh, looking here, there's grid based, the grid editor runtime. Here it is. Now, if I run the editor, I hear the music and it crashes. This is an error that Blender has on the two, on the Windows 7 64-bit export. It might be present in other uh, in other uh, Blender versions, but how to fix this? The, I've been a Blender user for a very long time and there's always something wrong with these files right here that are with the exporter. It's just that something is missing, something isn't really uh, placed there correctly. So the best way to, to fix those problems is to go to where you installed Blender, basically highlight every folder and every file, aside from Blender itself, of course. So hold on. So I'm just going to select it here. Control, select, control, select. Maybe shift select everything if that works. And control, deselect, uninstall. So I have everything selected in the Blender folder. Uh, excluding the Blender EXE, the Blender Player, and the uninstall. You could even exclude the README uh, text files, Python license, README, copyright, GPL license. You can get rid of those. Uh, and now you want to copy everything and paste everything here. If you have the crash, of course, if it runs perfectly, then you don't need to do anything. Uh, but in my case, I have this crash, so all I'm going to do is I copied the original Blender files, pasted them here at the export. Basically, the problem is the exporter uh, doesn't export all the files, uh, so we're missing something. So now when I run it, after I pasted everything, here we go, it's running. It's perfectly fine. So now I can use my editor, create a beautiful level with no problem. And escape closes uh, the file. Now I have some horrible noise because of the recording program, but that's basically the tutorial. Uh, that's how you export your game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.